Welcome back to the pods. So, before we did a few of those little side missions, uh, we had snatched someone's card, their ID card from the brothel. And this guy's supposed to help program it back up so we can actually infiltrate the medical location. You actually came back. My faith in human nature is restored. Save it. Here's the smart card and my passport. Now start encoding. There you go. All shiny and bioencoded, just like I promised. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pango. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Right. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. The login and password are on this. Now, about my reward. Tie your medical man! They're here! Banner! I want that hack a day! You gotta help me, Jason! They're gonna kill me! And that concerns me how? Oh, come on, man! I helped you out. At least give me a weapon so I could defend myself! Alright, fine. Take this and get out of here. Oh, thanks, man. I won't forget this. I was looking to get rid of the uh, revolver anyway. It was eating up my inventory space. Is he gonna hop back inside that thing? He totally is. Also, he's kind of walking backwards, which is a weird sight. What a weird moment. Okay. So. Oh, this game's adorable. This pre-rendered cutscenes. I f you forget after a few years that that used to be normal, right? So there's no optional mission about helping him anymore, I assume? He's just like, yeah, I, I'm supposed to just supposed to escape now. I gave him a weapon, so I guess he's just good to go. Uh, let's review my biometrics real quick. I mean, augmentations, biometrics. Uh, and one of the big things I want is the leg upgrade. I think I'm gonna save up for that next. Cost me two points to get it started. I want the jump enhancement because I want to be able to jump high. Then I could, ever on a regular basis, I see crates I'd like to be able to go on top of. So jumping high would be nice. And you get the the mod to go silent, move silently all the time. That'd be good for my stealth. I think that's a good priority to go for next. So I'll save up for now. But uh, yeah, you forget after a few years that once upon a time. Not too long ago, a lot of video games used to cut to pre-rendered cutscenes to show anything that was even vaguely complicated because the game usually couldn't handle actually rendering it in any capacity. And admittedly, this game seems to be a little bit a few, a few years behind the times, even when it came out for technology. But it uh, it, it definitely cuts those cutscenes a lot. The, the most it's mo the most humorous part being, of course, the fact that the visuals of the game don't match the pre-rendered cutscenes even slightly. Are they coming this way at all? Not yet. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live. Just gotta get out of here safely. It doesn't happen often. One of my goals would be to oh, don't look up like that. I'd like to be able to hop down. An issue is I don't know what my surroundings very well. Yep. Shit, fuck- oh, fuck me! Well, <laughs> This is where it would have been a smart idea to use my look through walls ability. That would have been the smart thing to do. Right, I just got that, I didn't use it. Whoops. Yeah, I was- I was in the middle of saying I don't know my surroundings very well as far as like the stuff that's below me, but that's totally what I needed. Oh yeah, it's the same stuff again. Oh, come on, man! Alright. I like that his accent completely changed, as if like his, like, wise guy He's trying to, he's like blending in with a local accent or something, or doing something weird, and he, he just kind of lost it all. So if I had a certain augment, I could, I could fall without even taking damage. But I don't have that augment, so I have to worry about fall damage. 
My goal's on that side of the map. If I'm careful, I can get over there. Oh, they're all behind walls right now. Good progress for me. He's behind a wall still. I can keep going. Wow, I can see through walls for a while. I thought it would be less... I, would, I thought it would have less duration than that. Turns out seeing through walls requires less power than than uh, being invisible. Oh, there's three of them down there. Where's the stairs? Stairs are on my right. That's how I get down. Shit. Not out of power yet. We're getting there, kind of. Let's just get him out of the way for a moment. Alright, about to lose our power, unfortunately. Not enough energy. Gotta be all smart and stealthy now. Thankfully, they don't seem to be in the stairwell. It gives me a bit of an out. I should, probably, I should have been turning it... Ah, uh, yeah, I should, I should have been actively turning it on and off. That probably... Conserves it better. That guy looks like he's got a minigun. He looks a lot like he's got a minigun. Let's check the map. Do I have any other exits besides the front door? I knew this was going to be a level at some point. It was just too clearly set up like it was going to be one. Let's see. If I had, if I could not take fall damage, I probably could have like found a window to jump out of somewhere. Or at the very least, I could have jumped down immediately. But my chance of getting to the door without dying is low. Oh. Does that go? Oh, uh, that's just a normal staircase. So that it seems like there's only one entrance. So far, they haven't used the stairs. Don't turn around. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. Oh no. It's the wrong way. That was the opposite of what I wanted to do. In that moment. Oh, they're in here too. They're in here too. Oh. You can't run. I can I can try. <laughs> vent, 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 that's not a vent that I can use. Why can't there be an open vent? Why can't there be an there's an open vent? Haha. <laughs> Psych. Thank God for stun gun. Whew. Is this outside? Looks like outside. Fuck you! The fuck is you? Security turret. Is it? Okay, maybe I don't know if that was gonna work really. I don't know, I put it in, in a hallway. Is there somebody in here right now? I heard voices, but I don't know how close they are. I'm curious what the beeping is. Can't really tell. Not in that much of a hurry to find out. The important thing is I got through safely. The bad... I got shot. Yeah. A little bit. Aww. Dead guy. And they and they looted him already, too. Is that how they got in? I didn't do it. Oh. Hi. Why? Why did that happen? Um. Don't see much on this side. The beeping again. What is it? Is it mine? Oh, proximity. It's, it's like a, it's the proximity mines we saw before. You gotta go slow. Just go out of here slowly. So it's a good thing I wasn't detected by any enemies then. So if I got detected by somebody, I would have had to sneak out of. I would have. I would be running through here, and I would have set off the mines. Fuck. It's gonna put me all the way back, isn't it? God damn it! Those things are annoying. Cause you have to move at a really specific speed or you get- or you get in trouble. Oh cool, we're back here. I wish that I- I don't know, is there a button I can hold to go slower? I'm just like trying to carefully move forward and people are like, You can go faster than that, you know, last time when I was avoiding the mines by going really slow. Apparently I was going too slow, but... Fucking- it, I didn't die that time, so shut up. <laughs> I think there's the same types of mines. I don't know, is there a way to just turn off the, uh... 
the power situation. You know what? Fuck it. How's that feel? Fuck your minds, brah. I got super strength. <laughs> I don't need mines. They're on their way though, so I better go. Did I shoot? Did I throw it that far? I mean, it also exploded. That's my solution for all mines in the future. I use my super strength to make, make stuff fly across the room comically. Ammo. Good. I can break through walls. Fuck your wall. Boom. I should have checked to see if there's a guy behind that first. Oh well. The important thing is I'm using all of my fun new toys. And that's always fun. Are there guys behind that wall? Yes. It's tempting to punch through the wall, but there's clearly guys right there. If I timed it just right, I could obliterate them probably, but you know. Screw your walls. This game is silly. I love how silly this game is. <laughs> it's 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 only a few steps away from being a, just as campy as a uh, Metal Gear Solid often is with all of its ridiculous powers. They're coming up to that. The yeah, he's coming up to the wall because I just broke it. Oh, this guy's right by the wall. Oh, it uses power. I forgot. Well, maybe I can sneak by because they're looking at that one right now. I distracted them with noise. There we go. Now they didn't see me come through here. Unless they're about to come straight. Oh shit, I didn't even see him back there. It's so dark. Screw your wall. You don't know where I am. I'm so sneaky. What will you do? I don't know. Just don't look over here. Okay. Cool. Get around the corner. He. <laughs> we good? We're good. Other guys coming this way or not? There's the. They were looking this way, but I don't think they're coming this way. Or are they? Ah, uh, screw me, right? Is there anywhere, anywhere else to go? Oh, thank God. Oh, he's looking over here now. Stop doing that. Oh, he's armored as shit. Go somewhere else. Where am I trying to go exactly, actually? These pods just keep going, don't they? Uh... Oh, forward and to the right is my goal. Okay. Alert. I need to get the hell out of here. Uh. I think he escaped. Go somewhere else, Stay maybe? That was still. What? No! He saw me? No one here, no one here you say? How did he see me? Shit. Make a complete sweep. Shit balls. Is he coming? Or do you... like a possible spot. Acknowledge. Uh oh. This is ridiculous. Maybe he won't come over here. Hold it! He's gone. Stay on alert. Stay on high alert. Maybe it's because I wasn't locked to cover, so it didn't quite count as kind of being being un undercover. I just need I just need big guy to go by. Come on, come on, buddy, old pal. Which of which are we of which we are not? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, you bastard! Go somewhere else. They won't suspect a thing. They won't suspect a thing. Shut up. <laughs> I didn't lose patience. Quiet. I need to get more stun darts. <laughs> hey, I'm using it. I'm using it at the proper range now. Remember the first seven times I messed up? I do. Malik, get Pritchard on the line. Tell him I need everything he's got on the Thai Young Medical Building. Schematics, blueprints, oh. everything. Now. That might take a while, I Jensen. Won't say it again. Yeah, well, he's got as long as it takes for me to find this Tai Young shuttle Van Bruggen talked about and ride it to their factory. Jensen out. They do not want me going through. What? What are they blocking? Oh, maybe. Oh, access to the bottom. Lo oh, that's. Wait, there's still homeless people down there. What the hell? 
It seems like they're blocking off the direction where I knocked out the uh, people that were... No, I don't know. That was where I, I saved the prostitute. It was by taking out the guys down there. But like, these guys are just kind of guarding a doorway. Those guys are guarding the entrance to this area. But then but down there is just some homeless people hanging out. Like, why are they behind the police barricade? And the police barricade ends right there. So like, all you have to do is walk up here to go around it. It's so like they're just blocking something that's right here. So if I hop down right now, will they attack me? What? What? There doesn't seem to be anything there. It's weird. Maybe I can spot something a little bit. Or you're just some dude. Back away, sir. This is none of your business. What's none of my business? I want to see. It's fine. It's fine. Onwards we go. We got our. We got our chip. We got what we came for. Let's do an update on what we're exactly going after now. Oh yeah, TY, uh, yeah, we're going into the medical place via the employee shuttle. Now that we've got our chip, everything's still going according to plan, and we just happened to get interrupted along the way. Can I afford a limb upgrade? I should check. Because I forget how much stuff is, how much stuff costs in this game from time to time. Hello, terminal. My only friend. Oh, you don't. We don't do terminal work here. You need practice software, neuropathine, something else. Look at computer. That's that's what I tried to do actually, but okay. Um, practice kit five thousand. All right, boom, got it. I'll t I'll be happy with that. Does the next one cost the same amount? Yeah, looks like there's one more left here. You're very welcome, sir. There we go. We can afford an upgrade. Good news. Let's go get my legs. It's leg day, motherfucker. Confirmed. Oh, you immediately get the jump enhancement for free. That's cool. That's exactly what I wanted. But I'll go for run silently soon, too. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's a weird jump. It's a weird jump speed. You go, huh? <laughs> like you're taking off like the Rocketeer. <laughs> it's a little, it's just a little amusing. All right, got my leg upgrade. I can hopefully platform a little better in certain situations and get to certain spots. What would be great is if you could jump and, uh, I think there's a three meter jump. What if it was like a 10 meter jump? Like what if you could just like, ha ha, and just like jump to the second floor of a building? <laughs> that would make certain infiltrations really interesting. Cause you'd be like, uh, you gotta get to the second floor and take that and steal that. Like when I, when I stole the, uh, I stole the chip from next to the bed when the guy was visiting the prostitute. I could just, like, if I had super legs, I could, like, jump, like, up onto that balcony and just grab the key and leave. Like, never even have to enter the building. That'd be super amusing to me. I don't think you can do that in this game, but it, but doing that in any game would be really amusing, I think. Welcome. I should have read that warning. <laughs> Malik, any word from Pritchard yet? I'm right here, Jensen. Staring at a blueprint of the Tai Yong Medical Building. Great. I need access to a security terminal in the upper city tower. You do realize there's an entire skyline between you and it, don't you? I know. The Pangu. Any idea how I get to it? I suggest you start by going up. That was a little tragic where I, uh... I didn't mean to skip the warning, it's just that I pushed- I just pressed right and square- uh, right and X at the same time to just go forward with the game. And I didn't see the warning in advance because it doesn't show up until you highlight it. So I never saw it pop up until it was too late. I imagine it's a because I, because I'm doing main story. It's probably saying like warning: this will set into events the thing so you don't do the open world and stuff anymore at the end for uh, this for for this country since we'll be probably moving on to back to uh, the United States after this. Nope, nothing behind the vending machines. It's so amusing being able to do that just. Jump way up in the air, pick up vending machines, do what you do. Let's take a look. I think this is new, actually. Pankea and the ethics of biotechnology. It goes without saying that technology is advancing at an astonishing rate. Yet even as society debates the ethical quandaries behind many scientific applications, companies like Tai Young Medical continue to push the boundaries. Research into organic computational matrices has helped us envision Ma uh, machines capable of thinking at tremendous speeds while reacting with the judgment of humans, says Zhao Yunru, TYM CEO. 
Ambitious projects like Pankea would not be, have been possible without it. The greatest breakthrough of the deep ocean installation is its ability to continually monitor and adapt to shifting oceanic pressures, and the possibilities extend far beyond earthly applications. With similar extreme con uh, uh, conditions existing outside the Earth's atmosphere, the same techno technology may one day be used in space. He did Zhao with a smile. Damaged cells repairing, uh, repaired using nanotechnology. Versalife announced today that it has successfully repaired diseased blood cells with mi in mice using nanorobot technology. The nanobot functions in a similar way to how natural antibodies work. Researchers hope it can eventually be used to treat people inflicted with AIDS. This whole story is such a glowing thing about Taiyang Medical, but because this is a cyberpunk setting, I just can't help but think that, like, we're probably dealing with, like, super corporations, and, like, the, the super corporation uh, that owns Taiyang Medical probably also owns the newspaper in this region, and, like, they probably write their own glowing reviews about their own website, about how promising they are while having shady stuff behind. Not always necessarily true, but very often true in these types of settings. Let's see, I assume that I'm immediately suspicious in this game. Because stealth game. And so I, I assume I can't just freely wander around. Because I... I was able to sneak in through the, uh... The shuttle by using the ID. But I don't work here and no one's gonna know me. And I look like a lunatic, covered in mechanical pieces. Oh yeah! Oh, I just noticed something! I take my trench coat off during missions. Whoa! I never picked up on that. Jensen has like street wear and stealth wear that are separate from each other. You can see his like crazy bionic arms and stuff like that from here. Interesting. I never noticed he changes clothes in this game. Admittedly, he just looks he's just wearing black all the time, so it's not the most immediately visual distinct thing if you're not staring straight at him. But that's noteworthy. You get a you get a clue of like how destroyed his body was cuz that's a lot of cyber pieces. If I remember correctly, his arms are completely fake. Like, they're not real at all. Yeah, I was gonna say, the trench coat seems like a weird... ...setup? That's a bad sound. Something just straight up exploded. That can't be good. But yeah, this answers my question about whether or not we're gonna be... ...standing out from the crowd. I clearly look like a ninja assassin that's here to infiltrate the place. No one would look at this character for a moment and be like, Oh yeah, he's... he's fine. He's supposed to be here. It's like, I, I look absurd. Uh, this is a level one hack, as you often expect from story missions, so straightforward enough. Um Yeah, we'll just get started with the spam. That'll slow things down for the opponent. Which I don't think I can hack directly, nope. Let's just get in there real quick. Yeah, I can't hack the opponent when when they go in that direction. One more nuke virus, just for me. So what was the sound? Oh, they had a gas explosion. This guy's freaking out. <laughs> you! Help! <coughs> I need help! Please! The regulator machine is shooting it out. Causing a toxic gas leak. I tried to get to it. But I'm stuck in here. I, I couldn't... Enough with the play-by-play. -play. What do you need? There's a valve in the next room. You have to call it. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank God. <coughs> Please, hurry. I don't know how much I can This guy's not exactly, uh... Shit, next room he says. Can I pick up anything around here? Nope. Alright, this guy's not exactly, uh... The, the Martian, to say. And that he's not exactly resolving this, the problem. Not really, not doing anything to close his leak, unfortunately. Let's see. What's the situation? This looks like a nightmare. We're close enough, I guess. Let's just get going. Move fast. Oh my god. How fast is he going? Um, stop. For a moment, please. I might be fucked. I'm pretty fucked. It's Holy shit, okay. I'll use one of these on it then. Screw this thing, open up. You alright? 
You alive in here? Do I not have to? Am I not dying in here? I'm okay, apparently. You alive? You saved my life. How can I repay you? You can give me some directions. To where? I need to get to the upper tower. You must use the elevator pass to acquire your sterilization room. But unauthorized personnel aren't allowed up there. But Kim is the guard on duty today. He owes me a favor. Just tell him Lee sent you, and he should let you through. Much appreciated, my friend. The least I can do. Nice. Save somebody's life, and now we're gonna get a shortcut into the base. Also, someone's currently looking for me. Awkward. Oh, I could have moved that crate to get through. Also an option. Not the easiest option. There's two of them in there. This guy really got himself stuck in a mess, didn't he? Just close this real quick so I don't get caught. There we go. Anyone that's back there won't see me. Gas grenade and a credit chip. Nice. Look at us finding treasures. Alright. We'll just have to tell him that Lee sent us. This will be interesting. We've got our in. 